Congratulations. You found the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Well, what do you know? It's time to go. Listen to the Twin Cities Hit Show. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Reach for this one. (laughs) And now, a real hit show. I just want you to know that this is like the first conversation of like three conversations that leads to you being gay. Live from the Twin (laughs) Cities. You know how I know you're gay? How? How do you know I'm gay? Because you macrameed yourself a pair of jean shorts. You know how I know you're gay? You just told me you're not sleeping with women anymore. You know how I know that you're gay? How? Because you're gay and you can tell who other gay people are? It's the Twin Cities Hit Show. You know how I know that you're gay? How? You have a rainbow bumper sticker on your car that says, I love it when balls are in my face. (laughs) That's gay? Let's get this (laughs) hit show started. I love that exchange. Not yes. that there's anything wrong with Not it. Not that Chuck. there's anything yeah. wrong with it. With balls <laughs> in your face? Nothing wrong with Thank that. Thank God, Chuck. Chuck. Oh. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. And you, those are very nice macrame jorts you have. Thank you. <laughs> jorts. Thank you. <laughs> Another one of the that exchange is, uh, but you know how I know you're gay? Because you listen to Coldplay. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good morning, everybody. Happy morning. Tuesday. Good morning. Happy, happy. <sighs> happy. We made it to Tuesday. We did. Mm-hmm. It's you know what episode it is. I meant to say. I meant. Oh, to don't ask tell me. You. Don't tell me. One million nine hundred and thirty-two. You are approximately one million nine hundred. One million eight hundred and ninety-five episodes off. Ugh, Check 30? out the math on Courtney. Seven. Thirty-seven. Mm, nice. I, I did the math. Mm-hmm. You did the math. Yeah. Um, which I wanted to, to ask you to find the sound clip from Clerks, where oh. uh, where do you know what I'm talking about? Where the guy finds out his girlfriend has given thirty-seven blowjobs, <laughs> and he freaks out, and uh, and he's like thirty-seven. <laughs> and so I anyway. That, that, that is a plethora. Yeah. That, <laughs> I think we need a contextual right? basis before yeah. I make it. I call it a hell of a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, I like I like your sort of your, your sort of like I don't know if that's so many yeah. need, dicks I look need on your face. I need context. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. And that I might agree. be a reasonable number, depending. I think it's so, a pretty reasonable. So you gave thirty seven blowjobs in a weekend, Rusty? Is that what? Well, I'm it was this? a long job interview, but I yeah. got the gig. So. Good for you. Good for <laughs> yeah, you. That kind of job interview. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I know you don't give a crap, but it was a long night for me because last night my 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 Bucky my Bucky <laughs> Oh yeah. It was it, down to the last game. Of all the colleges in the United States, there were only two teams left battling to be the number one college basketball team. The Badgers had not been there since 1941. Oh, wow. So we're talking, what's the math on that? Uh, 70... Something. 74 years. (laughs) But they lost. At one point, it was a heck of a game. The back and forth through the first half, tied up at the first half. But you know who was the, um, the nemesis for my Badgers? Young kid from Apple Valley, Minnesota. Oh, really? Freshman. Uh, oh, Tyus and- Jones played for Apple Valley. Standout mm-hmm. uh, Minnesota high school basketball player. He was uh, one of the MVPs for Duke last oh. night, that Minnesota kid. Oh, yeah. But he got to, in ninth grade, he got to be friends with another kid from uh, their basketball league. And they said, in ninth grade, let's commit to a college together mm-hmm. and let's win the national championship. So as freshmen, their dream came true. Uh, J- Jahil Okafer and Tyus Jones last night were on Duke, mm-hmm. and their dream came true. Here's a little bit from that Apple Valley kid. Oh. Bastard. <laughs> we were going to come to college together, and we, we wanted to win the national championship. Um, so to, to finally you know, come all this way and to do that, uh, you know, we, we just you know, hugged each other, told each other we love. We got a bad mix on us. Dang it. Last four points to Wisconsin after trailing very briefly for the first time in the half. Jones, that's a three. Oh. And Duke's right back in front. How about this kid? Woo. You grow up, you know, watching the tournament. You know, it's the best time of the year. You know, a lot of basketball games, you know what's at stake. And, you know, people are playing, playing so tough and it's such great basketball that, you know, at the end, you see... And the end result, how happy you know, the team is who, who won the whole thing. And you, you just dream of, of being up on that stage and you know, having the one shiny moment, how that's going. And uh, for us to have that opportunity, you know, we, we wanted to make that happen. Yeah, he's a freshman. 
Yeah. And he's already got a national title. Screw success. That's I amazing. Hate I hate success. Sorry about people. that mix. I put that together late last night. Oh, <laughs> you were so sad. You were looking yeah. through the tears. The tears were clogging <laughs> by ears. So I, I was watching. I was kind of watching the game with some friends, and they were yelling about how the refs. Yeah. They were like, the refs just gave that game to Duke. No, yeah. do you not dis- do you not agree with that? Well, the Wisconsin typically doesn't get a lot of fouls, but they got more fouls last night than yeah. the entire season. Oh. Uh, what I enjoyed is sincerely the first half, the the lead went back and forth with every possession. Mm-hmm. So it was just, it was like a heavyweight battle, just yeah. blow to blow to blow to blow. And then yeah. they stretched it out to a nine point lead. And I thought, Wisconsin's actually good. And then this Apple Valley kid, Aww. this Apple Valley kid, see? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you play for the Gophers or the Badgers? No, he knew Duke would be the yeah. team. Yeah. Duke's already won it five times. Give it to the Badgers. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been there since 1941 yet. <laughs> sympathy? Ball that we're going hogs. for sympathy. Ball. So did they win it in 1941, or they were just... Yeah. Oh, they won it. They were the national champions back in 1941. Oh, all right. Well... All right, so uh, I guess I'll watch it It'll again in another, even more. In It'll another mean seven, maybe yeah. next year. 71 years, they'll do it or, again. Yeah. Yeah. And how about you? Your um, cello guy leaves now? Uh, he leaves tonight. He goes to the UK. You know, he's going to be on the Jules Holland show. Ooh, from Squeeze. That uh, guy who used to play in Squeeze. Oh, he, I didn't know that. Jules he used Holland. To play in Squeeze? Oh, oh, I had no idea. Yeah, he's going to be on there. Also, at the same show is going to be the band Blur. I don't, wow! Yeah, I'm. I'm I'll so have to thrilled focus for him. in on that band. Because <laughs> 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 they're called Blur. Get it? Oh. I feel that's really nearsighted of you. Oh, <laughs> oh nerds! So, yeah, he, you can play this song. The rest of you be gone for two weeks. Yeah. So it's a little April love for you then. Oh. April love. Man. <laughs> Just play this as you go to bed now while he's away. Aww. Hug your pillow. I'm house sitting for him, so I get to stay in his house. I, I, I can hug his pillow. Are you gonna? You're gonna rifle through his private stuff, aren't you? No, I'm definitely. Gonna I clean, believe she's though. already done that. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing there are drawers you have not opened, boxes that you have not dug through. Of course, there are. And I don't that, plan let's on that doing shit. You are. Let's yeah. Let me draft. Let me draft a warrant. We'll make it all legal. Like we'll be there tonight. But, yeah. Really? Can yeah. you do that? Oh, God, yeah. No problem. <laughs> no, problem. Uh, no, I'm sure there are boxes and drawers I haven't rifled through, but you know what? I'm sure he has Yet. a lot of boring shit that I have as well in those kinds of boxes that I don't care about. You will, we'll get or a system so we can... ex-girlfriends. Yeah. I don't need to like make myself Is it going to be just you in the house, or does he have roommates? It's just, no, it's just me. Yeah. Let's yeah. Get I, a give you, I give you one hour and ten minutes, and then you're going to give in, and you're going to start rifling ah! through shit. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, I always go for the shoe box. One hundred percent. You will give in. And you're like one hundred. No one's looking. Yep. No one's looking. Yeah. Ba-ba-da, okay. You, you know what? I've already house sit, sat for him, and I didn't rifle through anything except maybe his medicine cabinet. See, all right. And I did well, look through his little so closet. Times you got, on your, you side, got your fix. You got the <laughs> rifling. Jones has been itched. No, she maybe. hasn't. She's got a full week. She could. Oh yeah, I have two weeks. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Two oh weeks. Yes. my God. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks. Every of going inch of his private shit will be gone over by this one. I think we'll start on the lower level. Um, uh-huh. And then we'll work our way through. Okay. <laughs> this is her sniffing around. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, now, I know... Uh, I, I do a joke about what I, I, I did search warrants for a lot. For a now long you're on drugs today. <laughs> I do a joke about serving search warrants as a detective. What mm-hmm. I found in every single search warrant is a dildo. We already know that Cello Guy probably has those. Well, is yeah. it fox tail you know, or a yeah. butt plug? Yeah. 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 yeah, if he had yeah. dildos, I would have seen it. No, he yeah. all he has is butt plugs connected to Will you tails. do the black light <laughs> stand oh, test? Oh, no. no. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why would Someone I Someone was murdered in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I've had that stuff that I would be looking for on me already. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. I'm going to pretend I did not hear that. Hey, we have <laughs> a guest <laughs> coming in today, you right? You opened the hole. <laughs> yes. That yeah, sounds like Steve. he opened the hole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Steve Gillespie? Steve Gillespie is his name. All right. Epi Gillespie. Should we, should we hear a little bit game. of his comedy yeah. ramblings Shit, here? Shit, yeah. yeah. Here we go, a little from Steve. Sick of men. That's who I'm sick of. You guys sick of men yet? Huh? <laughs> yeah, ladies. So sick of men with stuff. <laughs> men with jobs and families and houses. Ugh. <laughs> Get out of here. 
Men like that have started to ask me how much money I make now that I've got into my 30s, and I realize why they're doing it. It used to make me mad, but now I realize why you're doing it. You're doing it because you want to hear that I'm struggling <laughs> so you can feel better about your soul-sucking sales job that you've mm -hmm. devoted your whole lives to and the woman you married that you don't like. And the baby you had with that woman that you barely like. <laughs> Ooh, so Steve's coming in. Does he have gigs coming up and such? Uh, I believe he does. I am not in his He's little... traveling a bunch. Well, we'll ask him. Yeah, we'll yeah. ask him. We'll totally. Ask him. All right, he's coming in. Hey, speaking of men... Uh-huh. That's right. The Bruce Jenner interview is going to be happening. Oh, Get the information on this one. <laughs> Hold on. I honestly thought you were going Aerosmith on us. Is Bruce Jenner the most famous trans person we know right now? Probably. I think everyone read the awesome. rumors that uh, Diane Sawyer had uh, arranged an interview. Uh -huh. Well, ABC yeah. confirmed uh, yesterday that Diane Sawyer has scored the exclusive interview with Jenner. Uh -huh. It's going to be broadcast April 24th. Is a two-hour special. I wonder oh, if at the end of the... Two hours? Two hours. Wow. How are they going to fill two hours? Wow. Oh, my gosh. America wow. wants to know. ABC what said it would be... What drives a person to, to go from dick to vagina? Yeah, well, are you asking me or Chuck? No, I'm just saying America wants to know. That's why they have... Uh, that's why it's going to be a two-hour interview. Oh well, ABC God. simply said the interview would be far-ranging and exclusive. And revealed nothing else about the subject matter. Matter. I want to know what we're going to call Bruce now. Oh yeah, like maybe Brianna. <laughs> yeah, something. <laughs> yeah. Steve and I are toasting hearing aids to each other. <laughs> oh yes. Steve just walked in. Steve and Gillespie's we, in house. People. Weird things have already happened. We have the same phone. It looks like, and you share oh my God. The yeah. hearing aids. You guys wow. are both. What color gingery? underwear do you have on? <laughs> blue. There is blue. Damn it! My balls are blue. Does that count? Jennifer, not true, you not get on true. That. Oh, you newlywed Duncan. <laughs> that is the opposite of true. What just was said there, Bruce. My, I, now uh, all I'm thinking about are your blue balls. No, That's they're a uh, flaming hot red with. Bruce. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Bruce Jenner's balls getting chopped off and put in a jar somewhere. Well, so I wonder what like this show's about. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought you. We just, this is Bruce why Jenner's do, ball pop. Why do you Diane Sawyer. This apt Aerosmith song. Diane Sawyer just announced that she's got the interview. There was rumor, 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 but it was officially announced that she will have a two-hour interview with Bruce. Oh, I know why. I know Bruce why. Jenner. The first hour is with Bruce Jenner. The second hour is with oh. uh, oh. Brianna Jenner. <laughs> that would be... Uh, <laughs> That so would be something. I, I don't, I'm not keeping up with any of this. He's yeah. had a sex change? No, he's true. Yeah. He's in the process of it. Yeah. He has beautiful breasts probably at this point. Yeah. So how have you been without television or the internet? A long time? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've heard stuff about it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It did show up on your cassette or 8-track? I don't understand. You can't change yourself into a woman when you were like a gold medalist, medalist Olympian. He was like sincerely yeah. the best athlete in the world when I was yeah. a kid. On the cover of the Wheaties box and all that. He was on Wait, chips. So does... Oh, never mind. He had a guest spot earlier. He had like a roll on chips. What does that mean? <laughs> He's a cool cop, Isn't, man. Did chips appeal to a lot of the gay audience? Yeah, it appealed to me. <laughs> yeah. Wait. You're looking at transition photos I'm of Bruce? At, yeah, I'm just looking at photos of him. It will be interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tune into that episode of Diane Sawyer's hard-hitting journalistic endeavor. Yeah. He's going to need a sports did, bra for his pole vaulting now. <laughs> when did all this start happening? With, uh, are they still doing the reality show? With, is he they still are. involved? In yeah, in fact, he is shot. He's kind of backed out of the Kardashian crap fest okay. and has agreed to his own documentary about this transition that will air, I'm guessing, after Diane Sawyer's exclusive. This is the prettiest picture of him. Yeah, uh, yeah. that was when he was healthy and oh, young. Oh, is that when he's younger? Oops. Yeah. That's no, when he was a man. Was, oh, that, look at him there. That's, wow, that's, that's not amazing. Him. That's not that's, him. Yeah, right? That's all Oh, the, <laughs> the British actress Stephanie Beachman. Close. She's the inspiration. Yo, oh, Jesus. You know, I love uh, Farrah Fawcett. I decided I want to be a woman now. You would be a horrible fair Yeah, I don't think you could pull that off. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. That, that really hurts to the core. <laughs> nah. I think I could. I think Does I he could have tits? You know what? He yeah. just is he is... getting tits? He is. Oh, you have to grow So now you're interested. Breasts. Wow. I believe he's single. Breasts. Who's that? Bruce Jenner? Yeah. Oh, Breasts. no. I'm No, I'm just like, I'm all, hey, man, be who you got to be, dude. 
Well, let's officially uh, sucks. introduce like, our guest who has arrived and yeah. seated up yeah. and mic'd up. And <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't want to yeah. hear my yeah. Yeah. inspirational hey, today in the studio as Steve, we as we promoted Steve Gillespie, local comedian, but yeah. who has done he's a nationally touring yeah. headliner. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 who have you worked good. with? Why give us some that? names. Come on, give oh, us your credits. What do you got? How are you on this show? Like big names? Yeah, give me some big names besides Chuck Gallup and Courtney McLean. Um, jeez, uh, Kyle Kinane. I guess, Never heard of him. Uh, <laughs> John Blank. That's pretty awesome. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Whoever. Fun. He's funny. He he reads uh, porn books. Very got, funny. Why don't I talk about Steve's credits? All right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. Like it doesn't. It's kind of weird coming from the person. You know, right, exactly. Yeah. Especially yes. when I asked Steve for his information so and, we and he could talk. So about kindly it. provided it. He's had two TV appearances on Fox's Laughs. Nice, and nice. The, uh, yeah. And he, you yeah. appeared, Steve. You appeared in the Bridgetown Comedy Festival last year, Portland, yeah. in 2013. You've been on Laugh Cops. Fest. I love that show. No, no, never been on Cops. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is the neighborhood you could probably get on Cops. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. This isn't a bad. I used to live over here. This isn't a bad neighborhood. Right. If you guys live in the right? suburbs, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. I totally oh my do. God, a brown person or 40. Who cares? Um, 2013, you got top 10 comedy album of the year yeah. on comedyreviews.com. Yeah. That's awesome. There it is. That's wow. it. Matt Brogner's Big Dumb Animal. Oh, he's, yeah, no. It's probably a Can I search down. it on here? Probably. Well, we're going to. Oh, oh, I see. I see. You did send me an exact link. We're going to invite you to sit in here for the first uh, half hour here that we're marching through, and then we'll talk all about you in the second half yeah, hour. Uh, did you hear that's about fine. Martin Short and Tina Fey's issue? No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. no I said no. Time for buzz killing. I said no. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there's a new um, show that Tina Fey is producing. The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, it's a comedy uh, it is a Netflix series. Netflix, you know, oh, I've it's seen the, this show. Have mm -hmm. you? Yes. I've yeah. Seen it. Well, uh, uh, Martin Short, right? Do mm -hmm. I have that right? Yeah, he plays. Um, we love Martin Short. I love Martin Short. I do too. Jimmy yeah. Blick. In Kimmy Schmidt, <laughs> here it goes. Uh, in the episode released in March, Jane Krakowski's character Jacqueline Voorhees is a frequent client of plastic surgeon Doctor Grant, pronounced. Framf, played by Martin Short. The script uh, it ridicules his eccentric behavior. And here's a here's a, a clip of Martin Short as Doctor Framf. He's brown for a little zap, and these frown lines are flub up, you know. Oh, I don't need all that. Oh. Who am I, Pamela Lee? Well, what about those scream lines, Kimmy? I know they were bothering you. Those? Oh, we can inject with the REO cream and insulin on. You can do that. Of course he or she can. I can do that right now. So anyway, he's, mm -hmm. his character is based on a real doctor. And yeah. you, you've seen the, uh, you're looking at the image right now. Yeah, well, and I saw Martin it Shorting character too. and then the real Dr. Brandt. Well, Dr. Brandt committed suicide. And oh. they say it was because he, part of the reason, he was dealing with depression. Mm -hmm. But they say he was also very upset with the show. It definitely hurt him. He was absolutely upset. Who would oh, want that? Oh, my God. Uh, but there's, according to uh, one of the producers, that was not... Uh, why he committed suicide, but it didn't help. And now people are didn't help. <laughs> didn't well, help. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, why is if the producer he, saying that? Because the they don't want to get their ass sued. Right? Well, yeah, but, but also, here's the thing. If he that. was not depressed, that would not bother him as much. Yeah. It's the yeah. depression that made him kill himself. It is not. Any, well, that is that Twitter is, world is a buzz, and some of, of these tweets. They are. Well, oh. here we go. Hashtag Tina Fey uses bullying as a form of comedy on a regular basis, but it's off limits to ask her about her scarred up face. Ooh, what a, how is it off limits? She talked about it in her book. Oh, it's probably off limits. It is off limits when you're, you're especially earlier on. You're uh -huh. you're told as a reporter, you can. I've been told you yeah. cannot ask her about her scarred up face. Oh, okay, probably because she's already talked about it. Why is her like, face scarred? From uh, another tweet, looks like hashtag Tina Fey is a mean girl after all. Uh, <laughs> surgeon commits suicide. Oh. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Uh, like a good liberal, I can bully you. You do not bully me. Hashtag Tina Fey. I'll tell you what. There's going to be a lawsuit, and this show is going to mm -hmm. lose. In addition out. to yeah. creating a pretty racist TV show, Hashtag Tina Fey is officially an online bully. Oh, Everyone Tina. idled down. <laughs> Tina Fey has a history of mocking people in flattering ways. Their feelings be damned. Yeah, like she took on Sarah Palin. That's bullshit. Yeah, and herself all the yeah. time. 
Anyway, so we're She's an American hero. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of well loved, though. Do you? Yeah. Would you? How do you guys fall on this? Who's what that? You, Sarah Palin? No, not Sarah Palin. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was. <laughs> I half listened. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I thought you said okay. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> uh, she was America's sweetheart, Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Did too much? Can you make fun of? Uh, is he? Well, a, well, he's not I, a public figure so much. Yeah, is he a public? Yeah, he's not he's barely, really a public figure. Barely. I, I don't and, and you know, as far as like what. We saw one 15 second clip mm-hmm. of yeah. it. So, what was the rest of it? I mean, was it was that all it was? Because that's not even really. Yeah. Maybe it's an homage. You know what? Honestly, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, if I was that way, I would almost be excited that they were using yeah, me exactly. on Hello. a show. Martin Short? Yeah. 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 Imitating me uh, personally. But they yeah. said it was in an unflattering way. Mm-hmm. So, it's taking every yeah. perceived, like for me, the guy would be overly freckled, really fat, really <laughs> giant head. <laughs> Pretty much. No, well, I was gonna say, like but from the pictures, it was pretty spot on. Though they weren't yeah, really they like doing anything that he wasn't. Artist. I don't know. I don't know Martin Short's like caricature of him and how he portrays him on the show, aside from physicality. Um, so yeah, so like Steve's saying, it's difficult to make a judgment call. But at the same time, it's like. I don't. You know, I don't know. Is that is that bullying? Like. That no. honestly, if that guy was not depressed, if he didn't already have a mental illness that was not being taken care of, yeah. like this, you know, maybe this was something. I, I think I if you're going to talk idea. bullying, you need to talk intent. They weren't bullying. They're in a yeah. in a snarky way. They're trying to be flat. Maybe he just Chuck watched the show one. and the show was so bad. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. I don't want to be associated with this I've piece of crap. I've saw it and I almost wanted. I mean, it was it's not it's, good. No, it's terrible. Oh really? Oh, really? I didn't like it at all. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't. I don't know. I heard uh, Jesse Ventura was very offended by this and has also heard it's going to be soon. <laughs> What? Yeah. The is, doc- that, is that a Minnesota joke that I don't get? Jesse Ventura. He sued the <laughs> Is office. that your Ventura impression no. right there? Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, that's, well, a, I that's my rusty you, impression. I'm here to also <laughs> sue. I'm yeah, not happy God. with how this show game and Martin Short. <laughs> Who does he think he is? My gosh, go to Mexico and be live off the grid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Spot on. Was that, it? Wow. That's good. That's a good Better impersonation of my impersonation. Yeah. Uh, the doctor treated people like Kelly Ripa and Joy Behar. He had celebrity uh, clients. That's who. He, I don't know the doctor. Wow. <laughs> he did. Yeah, huh. he had celebrity clients. Mm. Well, That's how he, and he was, got on the radar. Of so did you hear that, surgeons? If you're looking for clients, uh, they're out of surgeons. So if you could just jump in. <laughs> He is an odd-looking person. He try. Uh, I read. And if some I stuff walked into him. his doctor's office and saw him physically, I'm like, I don't want any of that. I don't yeah. know. He looks like a. Re- I think he looks like a. Um, he looks like a Hollywood fifty year old lady or something. Who's had, <laughs> he looks like Andy you know, Warhol's younger brother. He looks very smooth. He does look like Andy. Well, how old was this guy? I don't know. Hard to tell with the I stuff. Mean, he's yeah, like 70. He's, then you got to be like, this guy's a pretty good looking dude for right, being 70 okay. years old. That's true. He tried a lot of the, his stuff. He tried, would try a I lot of stuff as soon 60s. as it got approved by the oh, FDA. Right. He tried on himself. That explains it. Explains what? He morphed. <laughs> all the drugs. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, the thing is, is like to commit suicide, you have to be in a really, really, really dark place. And really, you, you hope so. I don't know a lot of happy people. Like, of hey, yeah. Are you kidding? I won the lottery? (laughs) Give me a gun! Yay! (laughs) Well, I don't know. You make fun, but it happens. Happy Happy people? people? (laughs) Yeah, who knows? We're finishing each other's sentences, Rusty. This is so cute. (laughs) I just got engaged. You know how I know you're gay? You finish each other's sentences. (laughs) I'm so happy. (laughs) All right. Well, so we're saying <laughs> Tina Fey is okay with this. I, if I'm Martin Short, I'm I, I'm guessing I feel horrible. Yeah, I would. I would. That my character yeah. supposedly in some minute way. Oh, he probably he probably feels awful about it, whether or not that's the truth. But who knows? We'll never know because Doctor Brandt is dead. Maybe he's a cold soul. Maybe Martin Short doesn't give a crap about other people. Oh, I find that really hard to believe. I do, too. I'm just trying to yeah. be devil's advocate. Uh, well, his new episode will probably get canceled. Down syndrome is stupid. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I just took it the next step. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. He just bullies people with Down syndrome. That's his yeah. next character. Yeah. yeah. He, he doesn't see any issue with that yeah. episode. Uh, just you guys know people might be listening to this right now. It was... 
I it was no, a joke. I, I, I know. I, I'm follow the path. Oh, there I'm were some you. volatile yeah. words involved. Yeah, he's he's basically was, right. Am I safe? Don't let me into this. <laughs> yeah. Don't put Martin Short on the worst the show ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you the one that brought up the buzzkill. <laughs> well, as long as we're in the buzzkill mode. Yeah. Had a. Uh, Celebrity, Just a good old boy. celebrity die yesterday. Oh, Never meaning no harm. Roscoe is. Get you to my flesh. Roscoe's <laughs> up in heaven. <laughs> Actor James Best, at 88 years old, played Roscoe in The Dukes of Hazard, died. At 88, though. Which one's Roscoe? Or them yeah, Duke boys. Oh, is he like the main uh, he's cop? He's the sheriff. Yeah. He's the sheriff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You guys, I have a, a a Yale a Stanislavski book from Boss Hogg's time at Yale acting school. It's signed Boss Sorrel. Boss Hogg was yeah, that Yale? I believe it was Sorrel Brook. Yeah. yeah, I had I, his. Uh, wow, I know. Yeah. Right? So he was a good. I actor. had an autograph picture from him as a kid too. He's friends with my buddy from PBS. Yeah, that's awesome. Boss Hogg. We we're the only two fans we of Sorrel. We should combine our Sorrel Brook. Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever they call that shit, Chachkis. Josh Keys. <laughs> this is my first cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. A fourteen carat dipstick. It's Roscoe <laughs> always did have an understanding nature. Oh god, this show is horrible. I'll tell you what to look hard for. Look what? hard in your pay envelope next week because stupidity <laughs> I- I- is subject to withholding tax. You dipstick. Didn't <laughs> What in the world is all this yelling and screaming about out here? Well, my, oh, my, oh, my. Don't you know that a man who raises his voice a man? is clear evidence That's that he has Hawk. lost yeah. complete control of himself? Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Boss, it's just that it's Cletus, you know? He had those Duke boys in the palm of his hand, and he let them go because that girl wouldn't win them. <gasps> He's a love nut! It's the height of humor. <laughs> Oh, uh, I never, I never really got into the show. You know, I flipped I it on because really... as a teenager, I love medieval stuff. I'm like, oh, it's Dukes of Hazard. It's got to be about knights. Like, I'm like, what the hell is the that? Dukes? The Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I was just so young. I just loved it. I loved yeah. the car chases. Yeah. I, I waited I for this. It was, it was almost on cue in like the timing eight. of the show. There'd be like two jumps, right, per show. Yeah, yeah I yeah, waited yeah, for those. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what was on after this? B.J. McKay and his best friend Bear. B.J. and the Bear. Yeah. I don't know that show. Oh, yeah, you awesome. know, if you yeah. Google that now, you'll get a completely different movie. <laughs> <laughs> Two heavy set they call me guys. BJ McKay. <laughs> BJ and the Bears. BJ <laughs> oh, and the Bears. Yeah. Oh. Your yeah. history will show up um, as gay porn, by yeah. the way. <laughs> you know how I know you're gay? You watch BJ and the Bear. <laughs> Are you excited for Game of Thrones then? Oh, my God! <laughs> I forgot that! So, Courtney, oh, are you excited? You didn't answer the question. Hey, Steve, we're looking I for a new co-host. Courtney just died. Uh, are you available every morning? <laughs> said, yes, I completely forgot Game of Thrones was happening She is on very Sunday. excited. Hide the oh sharp object. She I may commit suicide. I am so excited. Yeah, that was, Who's your favorite well. character? Oh, God. Me and Chris Maddock have been arguing about this. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, um, you know what? I actually haven't thought about it that much. And of course, my go to would be Daenerys Targaryen. But, but I don't, but I don't, I love her for so many things, but I don't really love the way the actress p- portrays her. Okay. So, um, I don't know yet. Who's my Remind favorite? me of, I'm just bad with the names in the show. She's the, uh, like kind of the evil, the evil woman, right? She plays. Oh, the, the oh, Red Queen woman. or the, the, uh, the woman who is like talking into Stannis's ear about the, no, Lord not of her. Light. Oh, who is who's yeah. that? Who are uh, you talking about? I'm talking about the woman who was Stannis Baratheon, who who gave birth to that black uh, thing that killed Renly oh, yeah, in yeah. the second season. Okay, right, Spoiler right, right, alert! Right, right. Am I, is yeah, my mouth yeah, drooling? Yeah. My eyes have <laughs> certainly glazed over. Yeah, I, 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 I don't <laughs> well, know. I was know. thinking this was a show about toilets. No. I'm more excited. Have you heard about uh, Game of Chairs on Sesame Street? Oh my God, that sounds amazing! Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Why do you not want to talk about real cool stuff? Jesteros needs a new king or queen. And to decide, we will play a game. A game of chairs! <laughs> and here to tell you how to play the game is Grover Bluejoy. <laughs> Grover Bluejoy? Where is Grover Bluejoy? Sorry, I'm late! It was really hard getting over that wall out there. Now this is a show. Yeah, yeah, tell I would everyone like how to play the game. All right. <laughs> the game of chairs is played with a deck of cards. 
No, it's not. Of course it does not. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the game of chairs is played with marbles. No. The monster is blue and full of errors. <laughs> is it played with a rubber chicken? No. <laughs> the game of chairs is played with chairs. Now that's a show. All that's right, come show. on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm looking forward to Game of Chairs. You can watch your silly throne thing. You don't watch Game of Thrones? You don't honestly? watch Game you of know, Thrones? You know, I started to, and I did like it, and then I, there's so much TV to keep up with, I, I lost out. But now That's... on demand, I could try and catch up. My son is certainly into it. My 22-year-old... Uh, of course he is. Because there's so naked many women. breasts on the show. Yeah, yeah. a lot of naked women. In wow. Show. You're, um, you're yeah, my Rusty, attention, though. you are missing out on a lot of naked boobs and ass in this show. Also, some rape. But anyway. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. No, I see the six o'clock I news. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't believe that you. That's like the one show you don't watch. It's the only show I watch. Really? Okay. I, I mean, gotta that's catch the up. only show I like keep up on and and will watch week to week. I get I get like an hour and a half of television a night. That's yeah. all I get. And so I don't have time a for a night. Everything. Oh my god, I wish yeah. I had your time. So you don't have time for So you don't even have an hour and a half oh of god, TV no. per night? No. I don't watch that much television. Yeah. Oh, either. but you've locked into Game of Thrones. All right. Yeah. But yeah. you're an entertainment guy. So that's like. You have to watch you know, everything. You have to watch everything. Yeah. You love that stuff. Uh, I see. Damn. R&D. R&D for the show, man. Well, let's, uh, let's take a quick break and then we'll talk all things Steve Gillespie when we get back. Shall we do that? Yeah. Finally. All things. Finally. It's like, why did I come in here? What <laughs> hey, the heck? It's 10 o'clock. It's about time I told you. With Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck, we'll be right back. Mac Men, don't let your computer problems drive you mad. We are Mac Men, Minnesota's premier tech consultants and problem solvers for Macs mobile devices, troubleshooting, training, and much more. No more dragging your computer all over town because we come to you. We love making house calls to your home or small business. MacMen. Call 612-345-8005. The Alive and Social Network is alive and growing. From the best in sports, music, movies, and beer, Alive and Social is what all the cool kids click on. Featuring characters like Radio Rebel Jeff DeBay, Star Tribune pundit Jim Suhan Unfiltered, and television veteran and handsome man Rusty Gatenby, you can also taste the Minnesota Pubcast with Jason and Molly. Join the band with live band karaoke night from legendary O'Gara's in St. Paul and the live music showcase from Shamrocks. Yes, a live and social network does indeed rock and roll. The Jeff DeBay Show, Jim Suhan Unfiltered, the Rusty Gatenby Review, the Minnesota Pubcast with Jason and Molly, live band karaoke, and Shamrock's live music showcase. Join the fun. Be alive and social with the Alive and Social Network. With Suhan Unfiltered, sports columnist for the Minneapolis Star Tribune, Jim Suhan presents in-depth conversations with the best writers and sports personalities in the area. Suhan brings professional journalism flavor without the verbal censoring. Find out what unfiltered really means only on the Alive and Social Network. SuhanUnfiltered.com The term foodie can sometimes come across as a tickle pretentious. BT and Lydia are here to demystify the term and reclaim it for the sake of good food. Their weekly podcast brings in fellow foodies and culture creators from the Twin Cities to talk about all things food. Find this duo only on the Alive and Social Network. Big up battle, mini mini money, more and flower. You're the chosen one. You're listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Say it three times fast. We just dare you.
We haven't offended anyone, have we? I'm not offended. He's so in the worried. Least. <laughs> he is. Yeah. You're not offended, are you, Steve? No, not at it's all. It's hard to unlearn 30 years of censorship, isn't it? Rusty? It's true. Is there a is there a, a place, prison. Steve? You won't go with humor. Um, I do. I actually, I won't say. I don't. I try. Oh, I, I don't say the word uh, retarded on stage. That's the one thing I probably wouldn't go at. Um. Because that'll get a laugh. Just the word will get a laugh. Yeah, but it's a. I mean, if, you, if that's what you need to get a mm-hmm. laugh, then you probably, you know, should do something. You're else. probably retarded. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. See what I did there? See? I laughed. <laughs> hey. No, I know. It's a <laughs> lot of people that, especially families that are dealing with mental dis. Uh, yeah. D- Any disabled kind of disabled people. Yeah, dis- yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if it's that fair for me because I do say some other things. I do go after other things that. Ooh. People would be offended by like what? I'm trying to offend us. <laughs> um, I guess recently I've been talking about how I think the cops need to start shooting some white people. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just going to bring stage. that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually after I'm around, so yeah. That's I feel like yeah. as I up. feel like as a white person that uh, that's totally okay. Uh yeah. Um, yeah. And and your reasoning is because there's just, even the numbers out, man. Come go. on. And I mean, I'm doing illegal stuff all the time. Where's my bullet? <laughs> Where's my bullet? Where's right? my 13 yeah. bullets in the face? You ever thought about <laughs> ringing the doorbell at the station and say, look, hey. I'm due. Hands up. <laughs> Bring it up. Did you ever get into that hashtag that was up uh, about a month ago called Criming While White? Uh, no. no. Oh. I don't get into no. any of that. Like the social media stuff, I'm so out of it. I, I just, yeah. I don't get into any of the hashtag bullshit and like. I just get so frustrated. Like this guy, the new Daily Show host, and everybody's yeah, like Trevor pissing Noah. and yeah. moaning. And like, I never thought he was funny anyway, but <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, what they're going after him for? It's just, it's just yeah. so. Everyone's it's so quick, don't they? Everybody's mm-hmm. so quick to be offended because it like has like a rush. You get like a rush if you're offended, mm-hmm. and then it means that you care about something when mm-hmm. you probably actually <laughs> don't give a shit. Yeah, I just cut myself. That's how I know I care about something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. Look at these things. Oh yeah, wow, it's that's disgusting. Yeah. What did you write? you wrote a letter? You got to stop mom? shaving your legs. Is what you got to do. <laughs> Those are not actual cuts of pain. That's just a dull razor. I was in a hurry before the show. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to talk about on stage? Slavery. <laughs> Good Without one. missing a beat. I, wa- I walked right into that. <laughs> it's true. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I do have yeah. some Is stuff it really? on slavery. Yeah, yeah I have a, I have a, a bunch of stuff on uh, slavery. There can be slavery. nothing funny about no, slavery. No, I bet he could make it funny. What can be funny uh, about My old bit on it is that I could have never been a slave owner because I can't physically force anybody to do anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not intimidating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then I would just have to like ease into it, you know? Maybe have my slave over for a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> So. I think I've seen you do this bit. <laughs> and then when I finish mine, I'll be like, hey, uh, you mind grabbing me another one? <laughs> <laughs> and so it begins. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> and you know what? The thing that's funny is, I mean, I do that stuff in front of all kinds of audiences, and black people are the ones that are into it mm-hmm. and laughing. And the people that, if anyone ever gets upset or offended, it's it's white people. Because mm-hmm. of guilt, right? They're like, I don't yeah, know if I should be guilt. laughing. They just feel uh, like they have to police, you know, everything. And like, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, have you ever tried in front of a group of slaves? No, I haven't. Yeah. That's, I that's haven't what I've that tour. There's yet. plenty yeah. of them yeah. still in the world. Yeah, exactly. All over yeah. The world. yeah. I'll do that tour. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Do you not know that there is slavery yeah. going on Damn all over it, the Rusty. world? Damn it, Care about the world. <laughs> it's like where? Uh, I I don't Other know places. specifically, but but I mean, no, there's shit going on still <laughs> yeah. in the oh, United States. I don't States. have. You can't throw it out there and go. I don't have facts or names yeah. or. No, countries. you're absolutely right. I can't. I can't do that. I shouldn't do that. But I but I highly encourage anybody to to do the research. There's, Here's a mirror. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm not talking about like the slavery we know from our no. history books uh, that were made up. But you work okay. twelve hours a day for three dollars an hour. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, then, you probably are so wearing no, some sort of clothes that was made by some slave in another country. Yeah. Now we're talking about Burger King. So, well, what yeah, are we doing a lot here? of things. Mm. I like that you actually <laughs> you have humor about the Civil War. I'm like, yeah, not many people do yeah. Civil War humor. I have some Civil War stuff. <laughs> How did you decide that Civil War was humorous? Were you just sitting around um, watching? Ken actually, Burns? the time that I wrote that stuff, I um, was reading a great book, probably the best book I ever read. About so the Civil War, um, Killer Angels. Oh. oh, it's so good. I'll have to read it. I love that it's kind so of stuff. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Don't it's tell like, me who wins. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a historical novel, so it's not mm-hmm. like 
It's like the the real characters that existed back then, but it's like you know, mm-hmm. Fiction, written it's like, in a f- yeah, yeah fiction. fan oh, fiction. And are there zombies? Yeah, yeah. Is it one of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. No, it's killer angels, not zombies. What do, what do you talk about? Like how they're okay. shooting each other in lines and that kind of crap? Yeah, have you heard the bit? No. Oh, do you want, I'm not going to do funny. it. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> do you it points a, out how ironic war was yeah. back then, where you'd line up yeah. and just yeah, march just, just, yeah. with guns into like each other's like faces. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they just like surprise. The idea of surprise just wasn't <laughs> on the table yet. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah. It is yeah. weird. It's very I mean, regal. The, the why style wasn't of there a guy going, time out? Hey, let's, wait a minute. Hey. Let's hide behind yeah, some yeah. structure. Like, it yeah. all came from the English, and they were so. You know that way of fighting, and they were so you know worried about honor. You know yeah. the whole thing was yeah. honor, and then you know, and when you really got into a real war, it's like wow, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. honor thing. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, civil war, war, and terrorism are very similar. You hide in a building among civilians, or you wear a red wool coat and stand in line and wait yeah. to take oh, a yeah. shot in the it's face. All words, same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's 180 degrees opposite. Oh, Is that what you're saying? I, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm being. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> it turns out that is what I'm saying. So, where did you grow up? What, Minnesota Wisconsin. guy? Wisconsin. Ooh. Badgers. I was talking about. Did you even care that last night they were playing um, for the championship? Or I gamble on a sports ass? a little bit, and uh, I had gambled. Um, I had bet on Wisconsin to beat Kentucky, actually. So there you go. And I won. So I was up money, but then I just I was trying to figure out who I was going to bet on last night, and I just couldn't pull the trigger. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't pick one. So no bets were made. No bets night. were made, and I think I would have bet on Duke if I had to, um, but I decided not to. You would have felt horrible betting against Wisconsin, though, wouldn't you? I don't care at all. You don't care. <laughs> so you're not loyal. Yeah. Were you yeah, where in Wisconsin? Were you like a Minnesota Wisconsin? Were you there just uh, no, across I grew the up border? In Ripon, Wisconsin, a smaller town. It's a Ripon. Yeah. Ripon good. Yeah. Yeah. Ripon good cookies. <laughs> oh. Have you ever heard of that? No. no. What part of Wisconsin is that? It's like the southeastern side, kind of maybe an hour north of. Uh, Milwaukee? Milwaukee. You guys want me to do the hand thing? I'll yes, please. <laughs> I'll do it. It's like right there. Oh, right. The, For nice. you listeners at home or at work or on right. your treadmill, it's uh, oh, yeah, sure. kind of where the thumb knuckle meets the hand. For, for those of you who can't see it, he's pointing to his armpit. Mm. Oh! <laughs> no, that, How that, dare you? That'd be Beloit. It's a joke, see? Oh. How dare you? <laughs> Not ripping. That'd be Be-, Be Beloit. So was Milwaukee the big city then that you'd go to, the field trips? And uh, the, well, we were, we, we were all kind of in the middle. Like, Appleton was about an hour away, Milwaukee a little over an hour, and Madison was like an hour away. So all those places. Appleton was probably where we'd go the most, I guess. Huh. But why, you're like, do we go to Chicago for our big city adventure or the Twin Cities? How'd you end up in the Twin Cities? I How, ended up closer to going Chicago. to grad school up here. Oh. For what? Economics. No, smart. Economics. Yeah. No, smart. Yeah. So you have something to fall back on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were quick. You'd be a better guest. (laughs) (laughs) Do you ever think, uh, how is this grad study helping me? What am I going to do with this? Uh, I mean, I guess, you know, like aptitude and reading and all that shit. (laughs) And all that that shit garbage. (laughs) It's required. Learning how to write, you know, all that. The the best comics are smart comics. Oh, Oh, of course. I think the best anything are probably smart. Yeah. Did you, was the plan all the time to go, I'm going to make a career as a comedian then? No, no. I mean, I was always a huge fan of it when I was younger and uh, always really like a kind of a stand up nerd, I guess. And I always wanted to try it. Um, But I I think the idea of trying to do it for a living wasn't really something that I had considered until I got a real job. And then Mm. I was like, wow, this (laughs) is. What was that job? I worked at Wells Fargo at their trust fund department, and I, oh, so I dealt with um, the trust fund The most entitled oh, people yeah. ever. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And we, like, controlled their money, you know? That's the whole idea of a trust. That sounds like an awesome wow. thing. <laughs> so they would, they, you know, it's just an argue, basically arguing with them every day about how much money they can get at whatever point. <laughs> a lot of fun. Doing a lot I, of good I need a new vehicle, Steve. <laughs> I, need I had one dude. One, his name was Julius Caesar. No shit. His name was Julius Caesar. <laughs> and uh, he was from Texas. And I <laughs> No was image issues there. Did you say the Ides of March are coming? <laughs> <laughs> he um, would call up 
and have the most ridiculous reasons for to get money. And then one time <laughs> it was Katrina, I think was going on at that point. Would it have been a Katrina? Mm. Was there an earlier big hurricane I don't know. in Texas? The hurricanes before Katrina? all blow together. I don't know. It's two thousand and five, so yeah. if that means anything. So he calls and it was right after the one of the big hurricanes, I think it was Katrina. And yeah, it would have been Katrina. And uh he's like, Hey, I gotta I gotta I gotta get twenty thousand dollars from my house and uh, we were all like, well, for what do you mean? Well, why? And he's like, Well, Katrina, man. And we were like <laughs> Katrina man. Okay, do you have damage in your house? Well, not yet. <laughs> okay, and then I w- looked up and went on Google to find out, you know, where the city in Texas that he was living in. Way, like, <laughs> up in the panhandle. <laughs> way, like, uh. not even close. <laughs> so then we had to call him back. Like, Julius, you're not Julius. even close. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to have a hurricane party? Yeah. You can shut these people stuff. down? I mean, it's their money. Can't they just say, screw you, give me the money? Who? who? Well, no, that's the whole idea of the trust is that it's illegally set up so they can't get their money only for these, you know, uh, X, Y, and Z reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For their okay. whole life? You have to be their Well, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's not their money. That's the th- I mean, it's like, you know, like Julius, his grandfather was ridiculously rich, and Julius was in an out of uh, prison and stuff. Oh, sure. So. Oh. They, didn't, they didn't feel comfortable just giving him $5 million. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder yeah. why. Yeah. 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 But was he able to live a good life anyway? As yeah. Julius better than my life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he drove him. I mean, he was comedy. getting like fifteen thousand dollars a month, something well, crazy. Oh yeah, that's for, sweet. You know, that's just nice. hanging out. It's more than I make on this Smoking podcast. Weed. That's enough to make ends meet. That's yeah. enough to make ends meet. You should I make fifteen thousand dollars a year. Wow, <laughs> right. it's more than that, ladies. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> it's sixteen thousand. Sixteen five. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> you should change your name to Brutus, so you could have said eight, you could have said a two Brutus. That's a you get a lot Julius. of Bruce Jenner material. Yeah. No, that's just, no, that's Brutus. from Julius Brutus. Caesar. I, that's what I thought he oh, said. Brutus. Brutus. I thought he said Brutus. Yeah, I thought he did. Death yeah. to Brutus. Yeah, et to, yeah. I don't know et any Julius Brutus. Caesar. Speaking of Courtney, um, um, you got nothing. No. How many days in a row will you have nothing? Huh? In a row? Oh, yes. I didn't have theater, anything. So. I had something yesterday. <laughs> This is the uh, part of the show where we go to I, Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to get you up to speed. I am I am not doing very well uh, with this sort of stuff. I did find this article about <laughs> life. Art. Yes. Let's turn Let on the something. microphone can in I, Courtney's brain. Can I just... <laughs> 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 this is the hardest thing about being in a relationship after being single for so long is now you have somebody who's like holding a mirror up to you yeah. and and you're like, "Oh my god, I'm so fucked up. What is wrong with me?" Who's re- so, what relationship are you in? Oh, I am god. in a I am in a brand new relationship with a guy. Oh, what's his name? His name is Cello Guy. His name is Cello Guy. He, he plays cute? the cello. He huh? Is he cute? Yes. He's okay. He's not he's my favorite. Sexy. I think he's, yes. He plays the cello. He's super yeah. sexy. Do you have chest hair? By cello, yes. we mean Courtney. Yeah. He does, and he has the perfect penis. He has what? Perfect penis. The perfect penis. See, um, I was told that recently. So how can two people have? Well, here's the thing is that women are shaped differently, too. Oh. So the perfect penis for me fills me up. So you have to try out a lot of penises <laughs> to find. I have to try out a lot of I penises. I think I found one, Mom. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> hey, this is the stud that's been getting funky with Courtney. <laughs> and you're listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show. There you go. He's That's cello best. guy. So you've got you've gotten bump kiss, nothing, zero. No, well, I have this thing that I found you on the You just found it. You have you even know if it's good. Dude, you are s- Yes, I do know it's good. Okay, it's just fine. too long for me to read, but I was reading it yesterday. <laughs> You were reading. I'm having it. flashbacks to the schools I teach at. Every week they have to bring in an article, and okay, your article, your article, and then they've had like four students go before them. What's your article? Oh, um, <laughs> yep. Um, I just this is how I live life. I get by on my charm and good looks. Steve mm, knows what it's like. Me too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, in the Utney Reader, and this is actually uh, almost a year old. This article, but I, I was. It, <laughs> shut the fuck up, you 
<laughs> so last year at this time, this would have been an awesome <laughs> moment in the show. We didn't even know each other a year ago, guys. <laughs> if we could hop in the hot tub time I'm machine. Just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post this. I'm gonna article. talk about my wife and it's my called, job right now. Our okay. random acts of kindness part of human nature. And I liked the idea that the Utney reader is posing, which is that survival of the fittest also uh, uh, depends on people being good to one another which we're failing at i'm sorry is yeah that that's saying? okay this no no we're all having fun i don't okay. give a fuck you guys it's you. just like hey, a Courtney? mclean family dinner you live great you look great i live tonight. great today you look great today you're i love really, your hair you do something different thank you sure yeah. didn't i pretty much got out of bed about 15 minutes before i was supposed to be here same here so you look and great then. then no makeup thank you. oh my god no i have well, makeup on it's last night's makeup since you don't have much Sure. I would like to have our thoughts go out to B.B. King, who's in the hospital. Did you hear about that? Oh, no. no. I saw B.B. King live at B.B. King's recently. Like oh, really? Three years yeah, ago. Yeah, he's in his 80s. Wow. Yeah, he was really And old. he is hospitalized. Uh, oh, and so let's hope he gets better. Yeah, I saw him at the... It was funny. I saw him at the uh, State Fair years ago. Let me get the article. From CNN, blues legend B.B. King has been hospitalized for dehydration. Oh. It was caused by his type 2 diabetes. Uh, no more information on his condition is available, uh, but he is 89 years old, and wow. he's been a large man forever. Yes. I'm yeah. sure when he was told he got diabetes, he said, yeah, so what? When I saw him, he played. Like, he was on stage for an hour and a half. He played four songs, and he just talked most of the time, but he oh, was wow. being hilarious. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. He was telling stories, and then at one point he said that he's never met an ugly woman. <laughs> okay, so he's a liar. He's big, like w- women's, like ladies, man. He was like talking to every girl in the audience. Yeah, doesn't hilarious. he have like that's sweet. fifteen kids he or was something really like nice, that? Really sweet guy. I saw him at the uh, state fair years ago, and it was like a, an evening of blues, and the sun had not quite set, and I, I forget who was on stage, but a fairly well-known guitarist, not Johnny Lang, but someone like that. But then his bus pulls onto the property, so you know a performance is yeah. still going on. Yeah. 12,000 people burst into applause as uh, B.B. King's, because it was all flagged with B.B. Yeah. King. Yeah. So I'm sure the guy's on stage going, well, that was a pretty good note I hit. I just got 12. <laughs> Meanwhile, behind him, everyone's cheering the B.B. King bus oh, as it hilarious. comes onto That's the ground. Hilarious. So this guy, oh, you, I'll hit that note again. They're like, not you. <laughs> not you. The bus behind you. <laughs> but he was great. He came out there in his flashy thing and Poor Eric Clapton got upstaged by B.B. King. No, it wasn't Eric Clapton, but it was someone decent. Of course, one of my favorites is, uh, if you ever see the documentary Rattle and uh, Hum with the uh, mm. U2, and B.B. plays with Bono. Bono wrote a song just for... Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Just for B.B. King. Nor did I. If you want, you can YouTube just this song. And he gets B.B. King to sing with him. Yeah. And at the end of it, B.B. King is beside himself that Bono's talent was so immense for a Young white kid from Ireland. Here comes BB. So get well, BB King, at 89. You know, when you go to the hospitals. Always scary at that age. Yeah, I thought yep. he died. No, no did not die. He's in the hospital. He's, in the hospital. All right. he's All sucking right. down this IV is, fluid. This just came Got across it. CNN today that yeah, he's in the hospital. And yeah, when you're a big guy with diabetes at 89, you never know. So get a, get yeah. well, BB King. Maybe. And we want you on the Twin Cities hit show tomorrow. All yeah. right? <laughs> Give him a couple <laughs> days, Rusty. No, no, BB, we need you tomorrow. Yeah, better hurry. Good point. Tomorrow. Stay tomorrow good. we have Lauren Anderson from the Brave New Workshop. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know who that is. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's amazing. She's been on the Brave New Workshop uh, main stage for at least the past 10 years. Oh, wow. And she's... Yeah, she's a hilarious comedian. She's done her own, not stand-up comedian, but other you know sketch comedy and nice. stripper. Funny. Nice. And, uh, oh God, for fuck's sake! Uh, she has a vagina. I didn't Fine. say it. Don't look at me. Stripper. He did. <laughs> Was that me? I don't know. I'm done. I blame Steve. I quit. <laughs> Chuck. Anything in the crime world? We oh, can talk there's about? a lot going there on. There will be now. Yeah. <laughs> 
speaking of which, I don't know if you heard this, the revenge porn guy got 18 years in prison. Wow, 18 years? Yeah. Just for that. Yep. Wow. The man behind a revenge porn... <laughs> just for that. I do that all the time. Explain what revenge porn is. I'm getting to that. Okay. So revenge porn is when you uh, post pictures of your ex on a... He, he ran a website where you could post <sighs> pictures of your ex. Uh, and yeah. then he would charge them eighteen. Years yeah, well, it's basically that? extortion if you read yeah. the case. Extortion, yeah. It's like so. Yeah. The man behind Revenge Porn website was sentenced yesterday to eighteen years in prison for posting thousands of private photos and charging women to have them removed. Oh, yeah. okay. He's All Kevin right. Bullard, twenty-eight, was convicted last month of twenty-seven felony counts, twenty-one for yeah. identity theft and six for extortion. But still claimed during sentencing that he ran the now defunct YouGotPosted dot com without knowing it was illegal. <laughs> nice. A prosecutor disagreed, saying, This man was told time and time again, you're ruining my life. Indeed, victims testified in a San Diego courtroom to the pain they had endured. It just broke me on a level that's not describable. So he often received images from angry ex-boyfriends, then posted them and linked each image to a social media page belonging to the victim. There's the identity theft. Mm -hmm. The women... Now, is it only women that were having their pictures posted, or was it women sending in pictures of their... Ex boyfriends as well. I the only mention I see here is women's pictures posted. Hmm. So I don't know if that involves lesbian women too. I, I don't wonder. Know. I wonder. Yeah, there's a lot of ins and outs to this case. The well, is there say. is there financial recourse for all these people whose um, pictures were posted? I'm sure the guy made some money off. Oh, his for site. sure he did. He says uh, he admitted he made 900 monthly from web advertising and 30,000 by charging women to have images removed. I don't know, wow. dude. Like it was fun. Read the judge and quoting his words <laughs> to an investigator. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, it was fun. I don't know, dude. <laughs> At the beginning, it was kind of fun and entertaining, but now it's kind of ruining my life. <laughs> yeah. I would like you so. ruined there. Yeah, you're going to yeah. jail, dude. He will serve at least half of a sentence, pay a $10,000 fine, and 15000 more to his victim. That doesn't seem like Only it's enough. 15, yeah. Yeah. I See, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> fun, <though. laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> how do you? Oh, how God. will his crimes play in prison? Do you think he'll probably have no problem? Oh, I think he's about to be a victim. Really? Or if I suppose he could post you pictures. Get paid, you don't the, get paid in like maximum security prison for that shit. I, would, I bet you medium. I bet you he's going to score medium. For What's the difference between medium felonies. and maximum? Maximums where they got you locked down. Well, I know that. Yeah, but, but yeah, but me, like how medium. You? Like what kind of uh, what kind of other. Crimes, criminals are in a medium prison. I'd say it has to do with flight risk and the crime committed. So I, I, I he'd go medium. I bet he's not. Right, right. But yeah. what would who's else is in a medium prison? Burglars. Yeah. Yeah. White collar Burglars, drugs, drugs, yeah. and people, drugs. People involved with yeah. bad podcasts. Yeah. Oh God, we're all in trouble. <laughs> yeah. This I, is not a bad podcast. I didn't say this it was. It's a great podcast. I love. It. I would seriously listen. Any how many other? uh how many listeners listeners do you guys have? Let's see. One. Um, right two. now. I'm not technically listening. Three. Oh, cuz this is live. Yep. Oh, yeah, we're oh, live. Yeah, we're this live. is live. Shit so is right, live. we can we can see No, it. don't tell no, don't broadcast that. Do you guys hear we, about DMX? <laughs> no. What happened at DMX? Yeah, DMX is in trouble. Uh-oh. In Newark, New Jersey, he's accused of robbery. A Newark man told cops he ran to the rapper and his entourage of 15 people as they were pumping gas. One of DMX's buddies showed him a gun and demanded money. And then took thirty two hundred dollars in cash out of the victim's pocket. Thirty two hundred dollars. Who's walking around with thirty two hundred dollars? That's what I'm. That's my big question. So DMX allegedly grabbed the cash. They got into four black Cadillac Escalades and fled. DMX. Yeah. They DMX. got into Escalades. Yeah. Weird, huh? Uh, his real name is Earl Simmons. His rap sheet includes drug possession, resisting arrest, parole violation, unlicensed driving, reckless endangerment, DUI, reckless driving, and even animal cruelty. Oh man. So he. So it's kind of a Bieber record. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, picture Bieber in like twenty years. It's fine. But uh, doesn't DMX he still have the same. money? He needs. Yeah, to, like, I don't understand this. So I, I guarantee there's trying more to, get to attention. it. Or maybe there was an argument. And he's like, I'm going to show you. Or maybe there were some drugs involved. Yeah, did you guys perhaps. see that movie Top Five with uh, Chris Rock? No, I did. I did. At the end of the movie, remember that? That's DMX in the oh. jail when he when he gets uh, in jail oh. at the end of the movie. Yeah, and DMX so, is in jail. Oh. And then he's like, DMX, what are you doing in here? And he's like, I'm always in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Life imitates art. Because he starts, he's the guy that barks, right? He's like a dog or whatever. I'll have to watch it again. Yeah, yeah. That's DMX's thing, though, right? I don't know. I'll have to you watch it the first time. DMX, oh, I'm a huge no, DMX. No, I, I didn't. Uh, what, uh, last thing I knew, he did something like in the late 90s or His something. His Christmas right? album was no, good. He had a concert Shh. on Saturday night. His Christmas album. 
You had a, you had a concert it's a on Saturday night. holiday favorite at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> that one song, Ho, Ho, Ho. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Was that whole thing a setup for the line, Ho, Ho, Ho? And then the other no. song, <laughs> Bitch, Bitch, Bitch. That's, that's I don't a, know. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Steve, you should come to our podcast sometime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Chuck was all like, had his panties in a bundle because you told him you weren't going to be in town until May. Yeah. And then you told me <laughs> that you could do the show. I was like, Chuck, maybe Steve is... Cheating line Maybe whore. he only says yes to Maybe I didn't ladies. know that you were on it. Yeah. This one. I thought this oh. was just hers. Oh, I yeah. thought it was just going to be me Way and her. Better. And I didn't know she had a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Do you like foxtails, Steve? What's that? Oh, Do you Jesus. like foxtails? Foxtails? Hey, yeah. What do you mean by that? Stud if, you, if, 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 if a woman came to you and said, take this item that looks like a foxtail and just shove it up your ass while you oh, make love to me? I have seen that online where you like a thing and it looks like a... Yeah, yeah. I'm not, that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Okay. Oop, I guess this isn't going to work anyway. It's not my thing. It's his thing. Yeah, it was my your thing, thing that uh, night. Whose thing? Well, this thing is Jello. Jello thing, right? guys. <laughs> he likes foxtails. Yeah. In his butt. So, yeah, on that he, note, I'm glad and that in he, uh, mine, God, it's good that he knows. What are he those likes. dishwashers safe? Exactly. Oh, it's good. Are those dishwashers safe? Easy. You don't have to break any new. No, ground. you ha- no, you have to hand wash that shit. Uh-huh. You cannot. You know. I was trying anyway. to wrap up the show. I yeah, let's let's to, wrap it up. Instead, this is now what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Yoko uh, Ono, by the way. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So tomorrow we've got Lauren Anderson in studio. You yeah. can find us on Twitter at at Cities Hit Show. We are TwinCitiesHitShow.com. And who is Lauren Anderson? Lauren Anderson is an actress from the Brave New Workshop. She, oh, yeah, okay. yeah cool. I mean, she's been around for so years. So you're saying she'll be a better guest than Steve was? Men- oh, impossible. that's not nice. He's Actually, right here. Why would you say that? Lauren is, she's going to be a fantastic guest though yeah. because she's fun and hilarious. Steve, where can we see you lover. next? How I am at Acme. Uh, oh, yeah. Next week, I am... Featuring for Emo Phillips. Nice. I can't believe we didn't even talk about that. Yeah, so that's going to be really fun. Yeah. What date? What date? Two, uh, next week, Tuesday through Saturday, which I believe is the 14th through the 18th. Mm-hmm. If I'm right. Cool. On, I'm not sure if I'm right on that. So we'll have multiple chances to see. You. Yes. And there's two shows on Friday and two shows on Saturday. Um, so, yeah. I plan on coming each night. And I, I want a new set from you each night. A different set Gross. of jokes. Oh, yeah. Just start over. <laughs> this is new 45. Yeah. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you would hear you would hear different stuff, though. Good. Yeah. Right. I got a lot of material. Sweet. Well, yeah. thanks for coming in. And with that, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, gotta, I, gotta I got a lot my... of material. In it. <laughs> I got to plug my show. Doing it, none of it You got to plug what? Yeah, my show. I have a show tonight in Rochester. So if you're in the Rochester area, come to 4 for the funny at 7.30 p.m. Uh, a... Who else is on that? Uh, Fozer, Julie Bain, and Jeff Larson. Oh, all right. Yeah, that'll be a fun show. There's a nice. hospital down there, by the way. Yeah, I don't know what's called. Something uh, mustard or something. Yep. Yep. The mustard <laughs> hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Have we touched all the bases? Have we yeah. offended everyone? And I think so. People and I think bases have been touched. We got that mayo joke in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's time to go. <laughs> That was a horrible joke. Thank you for listening to our 63 minute podcast. <laughs> get, get better, BB King. We want you on the show tomorrow. Yeah. All right. We're done. Okay. Thanks, guys. Done. Thank you. No, sincerely. Thanks. It's over. The hit show is over. You've been listening to the Twin Cities Hit Show with Rusty, Courtney, and Chuck. Now go home, unless you're already home.